Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. This is how to do a user skin in War Thunder. And I know myself when I had this question, I had to go to YouTube to find out the answer. And all the tutorials on YouTube are honestly extremely sucky. In number one, a lot of them don't even have commentary. So when they do certain things, it's like, what do you just do? And even after rewatching hundreds of extra times, I could not really get what they were going to do. So I had to figure it out my own way. And that caused some issues, but it does work. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that uh, today. So here we go, my Abrams. As you guys can see, I have edited it a little bit from normal. It has Trump on the front of it. This is a political statement, but do not worry. I will not be showing my political uh, affiliations right now. I am working on a Kamala tank as well. If you guys have any ideas for either, uh, tell me in the comments down below but as you guys can see it's in user skin right here and you can do this for really any tank in the game that you yourself own so i believe i can also do it with my helicopter customization there we go user skin so let's let's do it with let's say what tank anyone should work let's run it with the tiger 2p so as we can see here we have the tiger 2p you want to whatever tank it is whatever tank plane helicopter whatever you want to go to customization and then in this menu over here, it should say something like user skin disabled. Where it says disabled, you want to go over two buttons to the magic wand, create a user skin sample file in the game folder. It will create it in the game root start folder under the name of that tank. Then you want to go back. Do not close War Thunder. This is uh, how you will test whether it worked or not. So with your newly created file, you are going to search up GIMP. I have the app already installed. If you need to install it, pause the video, go into your browser, just search up GIMP and download the one from the uh, link directly. Do not don't go to any third party. That's how you get virus. <coughs> so GIMP, GIMP is loaded up for me. When you're in GIMP, you want to go to File, Open, your, your main drive, the one you have Steam on, click on Steam after program times 86, go to Steam Apps, Common, War Thunder, User Skins, which might be anywhere in that list, and the um, skin you would want to do so in our case it's the tiger 2p now it will have a bunch of sections all you really need to worry about is the one that have the names then a part like turret gunner body and then dot tga uh for the sake of this video i'm just going to do the body right here we get a really weird whatever sample thing we want to go to colors components decompose rgba that will give us these sections right here then now that we have the alpha, we want to duplicate that layer. You want to copy that layer, so click on it, control C. <coughs> Sorry. Components, compose, RGB. So we're leaving the A alone. It's just going to make RGB and there will be an A. So here is our RGB. We're going to copy in the A and that has a bunch of sample on it for some reason, which means we're probably not going to be using it because we go to background, uh, keep it on normal. Yeah, that's not going to work. So it doesn't really matter. Just ignore the sample part. And we have this section. This is the front of our tank. This is the top. Uh, it doesn't include the turret. It's just front sides, you know, main body, obviously, like we searched. And for the sake of this video, I think I'm going to make the... You can do this with any image you want. You can find an image online, download it, you know. But I'm going to go in and probably put my channel profile on it so here we go i'm going to click on this copy it put it in here and these are just it opening multiple image files so you have all your steps that's an image file i just copied it click on this one back and let's just name it something weird that's right there i believe we can move this somewhere resize this a little bit which resizing i'm just going to show you real quick scale layer and i think 100 by 100 scale it's going to make it smaller. We're just going to put this image, let's say, right here. And then I'm going to just go to File, Export As, and we are going to do the same process. Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, War Thunder, User Skins, Template German, and we are going to export, export to the file that we have just modified right here. It's going to be a TGA, 
replace export doesn't really matter there we go and if we go into our game now our target has not changed yet do not worry we'll go to customization select our skin there we go we have sample written all over us but the key thing is there's the logo and if you want to get rid of the sample i believe in this case we just get rid of the alpha so right here just delete layer file export as wait it, it just brought me back to the main thing so it's quick and remedy to mistakes we're going to replace that again export reload real quick and i don't know why that sample is still there probably because we want to do the dds thing all their tanks are weird right now but that's how you kind of do a skin uh you probably want to rewrap the entire thing they don't want you just repurposing their thing that's why the sample is there i believe so you don't just rewrap uh, their files for your own game but if you do repurpose it all it will cover the sample obviously and get your perfect skin as you guys can see with my m1a1 so if any of you have any questions after this tutorial about any of the steps i've done please leave a comment down below if you use this video to perhaps make your first user skin and enjoy that please like the video subscribe to the channel and kind of just leave me recommendations down below anything would really help uh, and i just love making these videos for you guys and i will show you guys the finished products hopefully of the kamala and trump tanks if they're both done on time thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.